JC here with Crazy Creations. I wanted to share with you a little bit about being a creative engineer. So here's my dilemma. I wanted to mold this. And as you can see, it's hollow on the back side. So that's not going to translate well to making a mold like this. So what I did was apply resin only to the bottom of the bead. Now this is how I did it. I literally created a puddle inside the bead while pushing down on my bead and then turning on my UV light. Now that takes maybe 30 seconds to fully cure and the first time I did this, I actually ended up with a concave surface. I actually wanted a completely flat surface. So it was just a matter of filling in a little bit to make it flat so that when I mold it, it's actually gonna come out to be a decent mold like some of these. Now, if you want to see I'm actually using this. Uh, it's called Easy Mold. And it comes in two parts. Here's one. And here's the other. And you just mix the two together. This is done. Now I'm going to do this again. Because this is UV resin, it doesn't work unless you have a light right on what you're doing. So you have to keep that in mind when you're using UV resin. If you use too much coloring, it's not going to dry right. Now I'm not worried about that little string on there. I can cut that off when I'm done. I don't think it's going to intervene with the mold, but hey, we'll see. So there's that. Now that one actually turned out, I think a little bit better than the first one. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick that up or not. This little tab right here, I can get rid of. That's not even an issue. But my goal was to make a mold. And I will do that off camera and then I will be right back. 